Hello, motherfucking YouTube audience of the CC commentary community variety. <laughs> uh, Preferably. Uh, this is your homeboy Slayer, who is so hip and cool with the lingo. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, uh, like, uh... I'm basically gonna, you know, start off this new, like, series. Well, not exactly new, because, uh, fun fact about me, uh, I used to do these, you know, kind of interview series, like, uh, back when I used a screen recorder, and, uh, needless to say, they were fucking terrible, so. Mm. But, like, now that, you know, I have, uh, higher production values, I can, you know, do this, you know, without feeling terrible about it, and, but, like, uh, I guess we're you know, gonna start off this series with uh, the one and only uh, Orion Broadcast. No, <laughs> the space uh, in Space Guru Five. <laughs> Hello, everyone. This is Space Guru Five here. I am literally coming just off of work. I got uh, I got home not too long ago. So yeah, it's been kind of fun. Being uh, an adult kind of sucks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, as someone who just, you know, recently t <laughs> turned one, I, I don't want to know. <laughs> but, yeah, like, uh, I guess, you know, to, you know, start off the whole, uh, you know, uh, motherfucking questions, uh, I guess we'll start off with, uh, you know, the more predictable one. Like, uh, how exactly did you, you know, find the CC? So... The story about how I found the CC, it actually starts... We, I'm going to take you back to, like, I want to say Thanksgiving of 2009. And or it was around that time when I first found out about the videos of a guy named Young Blood Fantasy 92 at the time. And I found out about him through his Scary Logos video for some... I, yeah, for some reason, I just stumbled across that. I don't remember what I was... I don't remember why. I think I just stumbled across this video by accident, just looking at Scary Logos, and then Oh, here's this guy named Young Bug Base Ninety Two. He made a video talk like the top five scary logos, and I checked it out. And what I really liked about him is that wow, he actually elaborated on why those logos were scary. I want, I want to, I want to see more of this guy. So I find out about his rants, and that's how. I, and then eventually, I found out about his about his commentaries, and I decided, you know what? I think I kind of want to do this. Now, bear in mind, I was at the t the tender ripe age of twelve at the time. Yeah. So, but I mean, you know, it, it ended up working out because I already had a YouTube channel at that point anyway. Like, I created my account May twenty first of '09. This was maybe like six months later. Yeah. Uh, I didn't I didn't really start right away though because I didn't have like any editing software. But about a year later, I got into Windows Movie Maker, the old version. <laughs> Uh, but I didn't, I didn't, and I didn't really, but I didn't really get my first headset till Feb I want to say February of 2011, and then on the first day of March of that year, I made my first commentary, and as you can probably imagine it wasn't very good. <laughs> yeah, uh, who's his? Uh, well, Aaron, Aaron Tempest, of course. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's an exception. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like. Uh... Uh, like uh, at, at least you know you didn't you know make your first commentary you know with, with a screen recorder uh, like when you were like seven uh, like what fourteen what like I did. <laughs> yeah, I just used Windows Movie Maker when I was thirteen. Yeah, <laughs> gotta start somewhere, I guess. Like yeah. that's the thing. Like it, it still it still surprises people when they find out. One, how old I am, and two, how long I've been doing this. Because, like I said, I started in 2011. So, like, I'm, a lot of the na like, I've, I've seen a lot of the names over the years. I've seen the style of the seat of commentaries really just change in that time too. But, like back then, there was like there was still like the ranting community was still pretty woven in there. Like it wasn't as close as it was in the, t in the late 2000s, but definitely during the early 2010s, you still had a lot of the ranting community still. I want to say locked in there, kind of, and then like as and then as the years have gone by, that's just pretty much gone away. <laughs> like ranted commentaries are like the communities are seen as pretty much separate now. Yeah, it's been it's been interesting. I still I still do think I still some have some of the old style. So, 
there's there's that little discrepancy, I guess. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but like a, a lot of a lot of my style's drawn from young blood. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like I, I uh, actually, when it comes to like you know com- commentators that you know, were inspired by young blood, I tend to view them as uh, like I can tell you know. They they were maybe you know inspired by Hobbs like Gwiz uh-huh. Akerloth. Uh, oh fuck yeah, both of them. Yeah, there was a lot of people inspired by Hobbs actually. Yeah, like he he's like one of those names that just like everyone knows about, everyone respects. Yeah, uh, as as opposed to me, who was inspired by like you know uh, Gail T P, uh, uh, you know. Uh, Basically, uh, the 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 like head Poketubers of the CC. As a <laughs> oh please, you haven't seen you haven't seen Joni Smith. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, maybe you have. Yeah. <laughs> uh, like, uh, but yeah, let's move on to the next question. Uh, like, what was something that you know, uh, for lack of a better term, like caught your eyes about you know commentaries? Like, what what made you like uh, want to do them? I think at the time, like, just, I was really drawn to really opinion-based content, because it's like, wow, people are making these YouTube videos, and they're stating their opinions on things, and they're getting a following. That seems pretty cool, because, like, at the time, I was still doing, like, really shitty animations. (laughs) Like, I wasn't really, I mean, like, I wasn't really grabbing much of an audience. Like, I think it, like, if you want an idea, like, about ten years ago, I had maybe less like about 10 subscribers (laughs) so like i i I didn't really have much of an audience back then i was really wanting i was really wanting a bigger audience and so i I thought you know maybe if i try this opinion-based stuff i can get a better bigger audience and i eventually did (laughs) so that's good (laughs) something came right i guess yeah uh, 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 actually, wow! You 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 made uh, you made commentaries for uh, for a second being popular. What what are you? <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, no. uh, uh, <laughs> but uh, anyways, uh, I guess uh, let's move on to uh, the next question. Uh, what made you you know? Uh, want to use your main avatar in this case, you know, Wily Coyote. Hmm. Oh gosh. Huh. I don't know. I guess I just really did. I, at the time, I saw a lot of stuff like in common between us. Like, hey, we're both smart, and we both have things that fall in our face all the time. <laughs> yeah, I guess that works. I mean, he was like as a little fun fact. Like, I have Wily was. But he's been the one that's stuck with me the longest since like April of 2012. Yeah. If you want, if you want some perspective there. But like before that, I actually used Ren Holloway. Yeah. But like nobody would really know that unless unless they were around for that. Yeah. But like yeah, like it, it is pretty funny. It is pretty nice to like see like uh, I'm associated with Wiley County. In fact, I think I remember like in the last Super Bowl, like when that. Volkswagen commercial came on or whatever it was, but well, it was a Benz. It, it was a Benz commercial, but it's like there was like a clip of a, of a Wiley Coyote cartoon, and I remember you said something like, "Man, Guru, Man, Guru's famous now." <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I don't think that was me. I think that was someone else in the cloud palace. Well, it was. I don't. I don't know. I, I I know somebody there said something like that. Yeah, because like uh, uh. I, 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 I'm not going to lie, I'm not that big of a fan of football. So. Eh, not everybody is. Honestly, I don't even care that much about the Super Bowl. I'm just interested to see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, that halftime show, though. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I'm not going to say much about it, because, like, everyone's already said everything that they needed to say about it, but... I do remember, like when I when that when that happened, like I, the only thing I posted on Twitter was, "Well, that's gonna piss off a lot of people." Yeah, like, uh, uh, though, like uh, if, if you know, I can go off topic for a bit, like, uh, 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 you know, with that whole super, uh, with that whole halftime, you know, thing, uh, I didn't like how you know people were you know blaming like Maroon Five for that entire thing. When... Yeah, no, like. 
there's a whole like the whole like I'm pretty sure like the reason why they couldn't use the whole song is because the people who have the rights to it are really fucking like particular about that kind of thing. Like that's been a known thing for a while. Yeah. So like I can understand that, but it's like don't don't blame the band for that. They have nothing to do with it. Yeah. But yeah, like uh, I guess we'll move on to the next question. Uh, like. What advice would you, you know, give for, you know, people wanting to do commentaries? Don't take my advice. <laughs> <laughs> Just take my advice and everything brushed twice till motherfucking black gets iced. If I had any real advice to give, I would just say, like, um, just don't be afraid of criticism. Like... And like, if you, like, you don't have to, like, I don't know, like, just, just don't act, just don't act like criticism is there to just destroy you. Fuck no, it's, it's the exact opposite. Like, more often than not, the intent is to help you improve. And if you take the criticism, like, as well as you can, then you really will. Like, I've been doing, like, like, just all the time that I've spent just improving myself over this past year, even. Like, I don't know, I, I think it's paid off really well. Yeah, like, uh, like take me for example. I went from someone with zero subscribers who did shitty uh, screen recorded commentaries to uh, like a, a member of the Cloud Palace who uh, uh, <laughs> is, <laughs> is friends with with the the big the big the uh, uh, the big, the big bopper <laughs> the big uh, bop mem. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, Hello, baby. Actually, fun fact about me: I wanted to like uh, back when you know I started you know my commentating career. I wanted to join Bob, but then I realized it was fucking dead, and I was like, you know, no, I'm not doing this. I actually remember when Bob started. Uh, like it was real, like I think it's I think a lot of the novelty of it was just like, hey, here's these really cool commentator dudes, and they decided to start up a group a group channel. And then suddenly everyone wanted to be group channels. Yeah. Like, and like I'll be honest, I kind of wanted to join there too, but like I'm, but like I thought, eh, I'm not important enough. Yeah. I mean, that's but, what I thought. Yeah, but now you're in the clubhouse, so like, yeah, now I'm in the clubhouse, which is pretty much like a spiritual successor of Bob, I guess, if you want to call it that. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. I well, don't know. Uh, though, like. Uh, uh, I will say that, like, Bob ha probably has, a, like, a higher standard of, you know, those who actually get in. Uh, like, if you think about, like, all the members who were in Bob, there were, you know, they were commentators that, you know, made uh, excellent commentaries. That oh, yeah, loved. yeah, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. They definitely had reputations, for sure. Yeah. But, I don't know. <laughs> but, yeah, like, uh, I guess... Shit uh, happens. Yeah. But I guess for, like, another question, uh, who, uh, like, what person, you know, that quit commentaries would you, like, you know, want to, you know, you know, meet up with again? Oh, gosh. Hmm. Uh, that's actually a pretty good question. I haven't really thought about that. Because, like, there, like I said, there's been a lot of people that have come and gone over the years. Yeah, um, but it it is kind of funny. Like in one server I'm in, there's like a few old faces that aren't in this, that like don't really make commentaries anymore. But there's the commentators still in though. Yeah. It never it never leaves you, man. It really doesn't. Yeah. Oh gosh. Hmm. I would pro honestly, I would probably want, I'll probably say somebody like. Uh, Maybe Cyberwolf, because like he was one of the people that inspired me. Yeah. <clears throat> no, I don't really have I don't really have a good answer for that, honestly. Yeah, like uh, uh there are some uh, some people that I wish I uh, that I wish would come back, like uh. Uh, like Henry, because like uh, yeah, uh, similar to you know Cyber Wolf to you, like he's the one, uh, he's one of the people who inspired me to you know make commentaries. Mm -hmm. Which 
uh, will probably surprise a lot of people considering that I don't act like Henry whatsoever. Hmm. Um, I guess I could. I guess I guess I could also just say like M Skull. Yeah. Because I mean, like his commentaries are pretty good, or at least his earlier ones. Yeah. Uh, like I, I, I would want M Skull back just with uh, the the good parts of M Skull. Yeah, the good parts of M Skull, the ones that the stuff that I like to remember. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, man. But. <sighs> Those were the days, man. Yeah. Like, uh, people, like, consider me, like, uh, uh, uh like, uh, I know, like, a, a good chunk of, you know, old CC because, like, uh, like, it got to the point where, like, people, you know, call me, a, a CC history book. You kind of are. Yeah. Like, you're, the, you're, the, you're, 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 pre- you're, like, basically the historian. Yeah. But, like, me, like, I'm ba- like, <laughs> if you're the archaeologist, then I'm the fossil. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, am I wrong? <laughs> am I wrong? <laughs> uh, not really. Oh, and uh, <laughs> uh, oh, uh, and if we're going with that analogy, uh, like people like Loudon uh, would would technically be like uh, like a really really ancient fossil. <laughs> He would be like from the Ordovician period. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Him and Hobbs. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, or, or, uh fuck. Uh, okay, I gotta stop start. I gotta stop. Uh oh. Uh. But yeah, like, uh, I guess next question, uh, who, uh, like, what commentator, you know, or commentators, if you want to, you know, list a couple, uh, would you want to co-op with, you know, that you haven't already? Doodle Tones, for one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, like, uh, uh, yeah, like, Doodle's fun to work with, uh, as someone, you know, who has worked on the video with her before. Hmm. I also want to try to do something again with Key and Tippy. Yeah. And Sarah. Because, like, we had that... We had this one, like, co-op that we were working on, but it never really worked out. I really... I want to try something like that again with them. Yeah. Uh, but, like, at the very least, like, just co-ops with each of them. Because, like, I do, I do want to get more immersed in this community. Yeah. Because like, like I've been I've been feeling kind of, I've been, like I know like before I joined the cop house I was pretty I was pretty distant like I was around during 2017 and 2018 but I wasn't really like around around yeah like uh, yeah uh, normally when it comes to the cop house like it's very you know easier to you know get into co-ops uh, because you know uh, take it from me someone who like uh, okay so. Uh, every single person who I've co-opted with has, uh, like, has or was, you know, in the cl- like, has been or, you know, still is in the Cloud Palace, uh, minus Dual Chaku and, uh, Kyokun. Mm. Uh, but, yeah, like, uh, I guess that's what, uh, that's my point. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like, it is really interesting, like, being in a group, because, like, Believe it or not, this is actually the first group, like, the Cloud Palace is the first commentary group I've ever been in. Yeah. Like, during all, all my, all that time, all my time, and this is like, damn it. <laughs> yeah. But it's like, if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't have co-opted with NTR. And that, I think, I still think that video came out really fucking good. Yeah, uh, like, uh, I, I, I will say that, like, that video you, you did on T-Bone was actually, you know, probably the best video I've seen from you, uh. Oh, thank you. No problem, dude. Uh, yeah, it took like ten days to edit the damn thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not kidding either. I kept track. Yeah, like uh, it, 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 it's kind of how like uh my video on Lucario Aura was like uh it took like painstaking days to like get. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but yeah, like uh. 
I, 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 just had, I just had so much fun making that video because like because like MTR wrote some really good like banter for for, for both of us and, it, and I think it really worked out like naturally. Oh wait, you made commenter. Uh, you, uh, you had fun while making that video. How uh, like how dare you? Blasphemy. <laughs> Commentaries aren't meant for fun. You fucking boomer. <laughs> <laughs> They're meant to be serious bits. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, I mean, oh. I mean, just look at, uh, just look at, you know, my Pokemon commentaries. Like, uh, like, uh, you, you can tell, you can tell how serious <laughs> they are just by the subject matter. <laughs> I'm making a commentary on a kids' game. This is very. <laughs> <laughs> oh fucking hell! All right. And, I wonder how many people are gonna. I wonder how many people are gonna scream at me for making that joke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I guess, like you know, for like a a, a finale question, uh, why the fuck did you name your last video content Kyle? <laughs> 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 I'll tell you why. Because the co because the person I commentated on decided to call themselves Content Cop, but with K's, because I dubs. <laughs> it's really about it. That's honestly the only time I'm gonna make a title that fucking stupid. <laughs> that that was pain. That was honestly that like making that title was the most painful part of making that video. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, I feel so forced. But, yeah. you know, it is what it is. It is, I guess. Yeah. But, yeah, like, uh, I think, like, that's all the questions I have for, like, uh, this part of the, you know, fucking series. So, uh, <laughs> uh thanks to, uh, Space Gruel 5 of the CC commentary community that focuses on debating other people's videos, uh, in the video. <laughs> <laughs> How can I make this more verbose? <laughs> but yeah, like point is, uh, thanks Guru for you know joining you know in the first episode of this series, uh, and uh, honestly, uh, you know, thanks to you guys for tuning in. Uh, this has been Slayer, and uh, I'm going south of Evan. Uh, I, 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 okay, that's mm -hmm. my old fucking catchphrase. I can't. <laughs> I can't believe, uh, I, it's been like, uh, <laughs> it's been like two years since I've said that, god damn. Mm-hmm. You're going to go on throwback, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> 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 and, uh, stop recording, motherfucker.